Greetings, this is Dyslexi. Let's talk about something near and dear to the hearts of those who've been playing the Arma series prior to Arma 3. Content. More specifically, modern and Cold War era weaponry and vehicles. Well, in all gear, but we'll start with the weapons and vehicles. This is also known as what Arma, Arma 2, and Operation Arrowhead were based around, not to mention their granddaddy, Operation Flashpoint. This era of gear is far and away the most interesting to use in the context of Arma. Now, you can argue that, but you'd be wrong, so why bother? One of the coolest things that Bohemia's done post Arma 3's release is provide the source content for their prior games. This means that all the content we've been used to using from Arma 2 and beyond is now freely available to port up to Arma 3 standards. Of course, this all amounts to a hill of beans if no one puts in the elbow grease to make it actually happen. There have been scattered ports of various things of varying quality since then, but there's only one group out there that's working to do a, a comprehensive port of all things prior Arma to Arma 3, and that's the Community Upgrade Project. This is an initiative that's meant to combine efforts and provide focus towards what's an ultimately uh, a rather daunting task. Instead of having several dozen people making their own little cherry-picked ports, the Community Upgrade Project aims to focus effort towards one comprehensive upgrade package, something that everyone can use. What you see here is the Community Upgrade Project's first release. It's a weapons pack that brings everything from Arma 2, Arrowhead, and the DLCs over to the Arma 3 standards. Now, this includes having proper collimator optics and adjustable grenade launcher sights, detachable optics, accessories, and so forth. This is everything from Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead, and the PMC, Bath, and Check DLCs. It's a ton of weapons, and it brings back things that are otherwise missing in Arma 3. For instance, a full range of light and medium machine guns, light, medium, and heavy anti-tank, and all sorts of variants of sniper rifles, rifles, submachine guns, pistols, shotguns, and everything else you can think of. They're Arma 2 era assets, so they look like that. Is that a bad thing? I don't personally think so. The, the functionality and gameplay applications for me trump the visuals, and really, most of them look pretty solid in the Arma 3 engine. There are a few that show their age, but those are the ones that were in Arma 2 as ports of Arma 1 content. But ignoring those, most of the weapons, most of the stuff, and particularly the Arrowhead and the DLC ones, are good quality and fit in fine with the Arma 3 content. So this massive content port, the, the daunting task mentioned earlier, it's currently being carried out by a small team of people working very hard. But, you know, of course they need help. And perhaps you can help. If you have modeling, texturing, or config experience, you can be part of the solution to an issue that has bothered many communities upon adopting Arma 3. Primarily that the content provided does not necessarily align with what people are hoping to have for their experiences. If you're interested in supporting the, the Community Upgrade Project's work, being part of the team and, and helping to bring that past content, the content we all love and want to see back up to Arma 3 standards, you can read more about the team from a variety of links in the description and see where you might be able to contribute. The future of this project includes porting the full Arma 2, Arrowhead and DLC vehicle, infantry, and gear sets over to Arma 3. And when you combine this with something like the All in Arma Train Pack, the success of this project will essentially mean that Arma 3 will be bolstered by everything we've ever wanted to see back from the prior games. On top of all of that, the cup is based on the APLSA license, which means that everything contributed to it can be further built and refined upon by anyone else, so long as they're willing to share their work as well. And you can read more about that license in the description of this video. For me, this is the future of Arma 3, and the least I can do is help get the word out about it. If you think you can help out, get in contact with the CUP team members via the contact info below. I know they'd be extremely grateful to have the extra muscle to help push this project towards completion. If you do, thanks very much. It means a lot to everyone. This is Dyslexi, and until next time, take care.